program is incredibly important because as we all know, community cats are an ongoing issue in a number of neighborhoods, but many in Pittsburgh, um, McKees Rocks, Duquesne, Homewood, uh, there are plenty to name and they need someone to help them. They need to get spayed and neutered, they need flea and tick treatment, they need to get uh, their vaccinations to help keep them and the rest of the population that lives around them safe. So this event is really great because it allows us to help you know, somewhere between two and 300 cats for free um, and make sure that they get all of those necessities. So basically we just take a little tip of the ear. It's not painful at all. We just clamp it off and cut it with a scalpel blade. Um, they also get a dose of meloxicam injection when they're here, so it's pain management that lasts three days. So there's no negative effects to it at all. It's actually probably best for the cat because tra trapping it multiple times and re-releasing it is way more stressful. So if there's really no ill effects to it. It's actually probably better for the cat. Okay, so this cat is a little congested, so she had a little bit of complications during the surgery. So she got a little bit of fluids as well. So we just wanted to keep a close eye on her. These groups went a little earlier, so they're like fun. I keep checking in on them like every now and then. But these guys are like the ones who just got done recently, so I'm like peeking in there. They stay on the heating pad in there for like about 20 minutes or whenever they're, they're able to pick up their head and then they can come back here and just wait it out. This year, because of COVID, we had to do things a bit differently. So we are doing two 12-hour shifts so that our staff isn't utterly and completely exhausted because we usually have some volunteer support. Um, so literally every person that works in medical, along with um, numerous other departments who are coming here to help us today, it, it's a huge effort. The entire medical team and the entire HAR team is really doing this together.